machine learning and the broader field of artificial intelligence are certainly not new topics. The ideas of artificial intelligence and machines being able to learn go back as far as the groundbreaking work of Alan Turing in the 1930s and 1940s. In modern times, machine learning has seen a resurgence of applications and the development of new methodologies with the advent of big data and data science, where massive volumes of data are requiring new forms of analysis for finding patterns and making sense. Now, one definition of machine learning is that is a set of data-driven algorithms and techniques that automate the prediction, classification, and clustering of data. One definition of artificial intelligence or AI is that artificial intelligence makes it possible for machines to learn from experience, adjust to new inputs, and perform human-like tasks. One thought on the distinction between machine learning and artificial intelligence is that machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence. Machine learning tools can be trained on large data sets and apply knowledge to tasks. The spatial aspects of GIS make it a very relevant technology for machine learning. The following illustrates these connections using the ideas of prediction, classification, and clustering as a framework. Data prediction is using known values to estimate unknown values. Many GIS prediction techniques are based on regression analysis, which allows you to model, examine, and explore spatial relationships and can help explain the factors behind observed spatial patterns. Once you model spatial relationships, predictions can be made using regression analysis. Data classification is the idea of which category an object should be placed in based on a training set. Data classification is commonly used with remote sensing data sets for both analyzing and categorizing pixels. The hands-on GIS laboratory exercise we will do later in these videos will provide you with an opportunity to learn about support vector machine classification in the context of classifying features from disaster imagery. Data clustering groups observations based on similar values or locations. Hotspot analysis is an example of data clustering. Hotspot analysis seeks to find clusters of similar values across space like seen in this example of finding clusters of conflict events. So now that we've talked a little bit about what machine learning is and what you can do with machine learning in a GIS context, let me give you a brief tour of some of the machine learning tools that are available in ArcGIS Pro using the framework of prediction, classification, and clustering. And as a reminder, Later in this video series, we will do a complete machine learning exercise using ArcGIS Pro. So I just wanna give you a quick overview of where you can find some of the machine learning tools inside of ArcGIS Pro. And as always, if you find there's something I'm missing or comments you have on other places to find machine learning tools, please leave a comment below in the video. Now, I should also mention that what you're seeing on the screen right here is the results of the GIS hands-on laboratory exercise that later in the video series, I'll show you how to go through all the steps. And specifically what you're seeing here is the results of the support vector machine algorithm that classified an image. So if I turn off this layer classified one, here's the underlying image that you'll work with and note the damage, trees are damaged, blue tarps to protect roofs. Classified one is what support vector machine created by classifying pixels in the image. Now, if you're new to ArcGIS Pro, a good place to find tools in general, if you go under the analysis tab, which I've already clicked on, and then click here for tools, it'll bring up the geo processing pane. And you've got a couple ways you can do it. You can type in the name of a specific tool, but I thought for learning, 
to show you about the toolboxes. So if you click here, toolboxes, you can see here that ArcGIS Pro has many different toolboxes, almost overwhelming really. And if you scroll down here to the spatial statistics tools, you'll find some of the machine learning tools in here, as well as some other tools you may be interested in general. So for prediction, a lot of those tools will be found in what's called the modeling spatial relationships tool set. And I encourage you to look in some of these. Here are some of your regression tools, geographically weighted regression and others. Now for classification algorithms, some of them may not be apparently obvious inside the toolboxes. Another way, especially for classification of images, like I'll show you later in these videos, you can get at those through the imagery analysis tools. And very quickly, the way you do that is if you click on an image you want to classify, and again, this is something I show you in detail later in these videos how to do this. But right now I'm clicked on a TIFF file. And if I go to this tab here, imagery, and then right here, image classification, classification tools, classify, categorize pixels into classes, you can see a lot of different, here's support vector machine that I've been mentioning, but you have a whole lot of other ones that are available to you. And again, I'll go over using that tool later in these videos. And finally, let me just show you now where you can find the clustering tools. And this is where the well-known hotspot analysis can be found. If I go back over to the geoprocessing tab in the spatial statistics tools, expand that out. You can see I have a tool set here, mapping clusters. And here's hotspot analysis. And you'll also find some clustering tools with kind of different labels under um, analyzing patterns. And if you look at other videos on this channel, I actually give walkthroughs on how to do clustering type analysis where you will use several of these tools in conjunction with one another as inputs. The following are references used for this lecture. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.